Hey there, friends. How is it going? Today we have our first Explorers of Sky tip, uh, tips and tricks video. I'm very excited about this. To sort of go along with our Explorers of Sky playthrough, I thought it would be awesome to finally get to talk about a glitch or exploit that we can make use of in Explorers of Sky to do some really cool things. Um, I would first like to give a, a shout out to the Pokemon Speedrunning Discord community. They've been an awesome help. Um, in, in finding this kind of thing for the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. Particularly this one was discovered by uh, Mozzarella Cheese, uh, a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon speedrunner and sort of a leader in the community. So a huge thanks to, to him for finding this. This is a really cool, uh, really cool exploit. So essentially what this exploit does is it allows us to take a linked move pair and let us only use one of those moves um, in the linked pair. I know that might not make much sense right now, but I'm going to explain how to achieve this exploit. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the uh, water well over here and summon Chimico. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the Pokemon that you would like to do this with. Um, so we're going to use this, uh, this Dialga I have here on this uh, totally legit save file. <laughs> um, so let's see. And we're going to set Dialga as our leader, which I have already done here. So set the Pokemon you want to do this with as your leader. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go into a dungeon. Does not matter what dungeon it is. So we're just going to go with Beach Cave for now. I think Beach Cave is a pretty easy, straightforward way of doing this. Um, just quick and easy. We won't be there long. So what you're going to do is look into your moves. You're going to organize things um, how, however you'd like. So for this time we're going to do this glitch, I would like to be able to use Roar of Time independent of this Metal Claw Roar of Time link that we're about to set up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set my Roar of Time as the leader. So set the move that you want to use independent of the link chain, if that makes sense. Then you're gonna get out of the dungeon. All right, so we're out of the dungeon. Um, just have to go go to sleep. This does take a little bit of effort, um, but once you have it completed, it can be very useful. Very useful indeed. It's, again, really quite a, a cool exploit that was discovered. All right. So now we're going to head on back. And we're about to link our moves in just a second. But first, before we link anything, we need to take Dialga and make him our partner Pokemon and not the leader. If you keep Dialga as the leader or whatever Pokemon you do this with and you link your moves, it will not work. So make sure you follow this step carefully. So now we're going to make um, the starter Pokemon our leader. Now keep in mind we set that move on Dialga and the game will remember that it stayed set, but since it's a partner Pokemon, it doesn't usually have the ability to use set moves, so we're going to use that to our advantage. So let's go say hi to Electivire. And now let's link together Metal Claw and Roar of Time. Now we're going to go back to the Wishing Well, or not Wishing Well, the Water Well, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't really matter. We're going to ring up Chimico. And then we're going to make Dialga our leader once again. Now when we go back into Beach Cave, we will see that this exploit has indeed worked. And you'll be able to see more in detail what it does exactly, which is it, it is quite, quite useful. So now you'll notice that Roar of Time is our set move, but we can use it independently from Metal Claw. Normally we would have to set Metal Claw as our move, which would mean having to use both Metal Claw and Roar of Time, but this way we can just choose to use Roar of Time. So it, at first glance this might seem pretty mundane, but actually if you think about it, you can do some pretty amazing things. So say I just want to clear this room without using Metal Claw, I can just use Roar of Time. So this is just a simple example 
of uh, what this glitch can do, I, I would say there's many more powerful things um, that, that can happen with this. And if you think of anything, any really awesome linked pair moves that you can use independently, uh, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know what they are, because I would love to hear hear from you guys what you're what you're doing with this. But yeah, friends, that is all there is to it. If you liked the video and you thought this was helpful, please go ahead and leave a like. Um, also, it would be really much appreciated if you would subscribe to the channel um, and maybe even considering joining us on our community Discord server. At any rate, that is the video, friends. I hope you learned something today, and I look forward to making more Explorers of Sky content in the future. Thank you so much for watching, friends. Have a good one. Thank you.